emotionally intelligent people don't tend to stand out in the workplace, but they do enjoy a distinct advantage over their peers. People who are emotionally intelligent tend to fit in well. They are respected and trusted. They have good relationships with their colleagues and employees and are proactive about managing these relationships. They can also manage difficult situations with care and sensitivity. I once spoke to a manager who had been fired by his previous manager. He'd actually been sacked. But he said, the curious thing about it was, I wanted to resent the fact that I'd been fired, but I couldn't. I felt I'd been dealt with so sensitively that I even took the side of the guy who was firing me uh, in sympathy for him. Of course, it was hard losing my job, he said, but the fact is I didn't carry a burden of anger for months afterwards because I felt it had been done sensitively. Jan, I need to talk to you about my phone call with Deborah. It's not good news, I'm afraid. Not going out of business, are they? Oh my, they are, aren't they? They're going out of business. Deborah called me in confidence to give me the heads up, but this needs to stay between us. There'll be some sort of announcement in the press tomorrow. This is a disaster. I mean, we can't hope to stay in business if they go under. I agree it's not good news, but it's not a disaster. We still have other clients. We just need to work a little harder to secure another big customer. But there'll be redundancies for sure, and the teams will be in turmoil. Jan, can I level with you? I know you're feeling anxious and vulnerable right now, but it's really important we carry on with business as normal, at least until we know the true implications of this news. This is strictly need to know, and that means we mustn't show how we're feeling in front of other people. Well, that's easier said than done. I know, but I'm here for you if you need to talk. 